going into Tech Durats. It's day two of the big South Carolina hunt. I'm out here with Wayne. Joe's on his way. We're going to get it started. I'll let you know what good stuff I find. Wish me luck. First hole's giving me some good stuff. Let's take a look. Okay. Got a jumpy signal down there. Pulled this piece. And I thought, what in the heck is that? And I see the little gears. And I buy this old play structure. And I'm thinking, ah, this is like probably a, from a toy car. One of those kind you pull back and then it zips forward on its own. So that's cool. And the first penny of the day, I believe it's a the memorial, awesome stuff, going in the bag. Love it when a day starts off good like that. Alrighty, not too far. Hole number two ends up yielding me a nice uh, 1980 quarter. Sweet, throw that in the pouch, moving forward. All right, got one pull tab so far. It's got a nice dime signal here. Turns out to be in the plug. That's a beauty right there. Uh, probably not silver, but it's me. I probably don't care. I'm happy to have another dime here. This is awesome. First dime of the day. I'll uh, get back at you at the next hole. And another cool little piece down here was ringing up as a dime, but that's a window lock. You know, it would twist to lock the window in place very cool happy to have that all right it's a beautiful morning a little on the cool side but i'm dressed for it no real strong wind or anything so this is going to be an awesome day all right on with the hunt okay out back of this old place got my first spill of the day got a dime signal flipped out and the dime was down in the bottom of the hole in the sidewall and there was still something in the plug and it turned out to be a penny so first coin spill and hopefully we'll get some Wheaties and Silvers and stuff today but uh, either way I'm having a good time man all right let me get on with this okay this sucker down here rang up like a penny then I found a little piece of a tab and followed it and kept having to make my hole bigger and bigger but uh look at this that's from a fire extinguisher Is out here in the middle of nowhere, man. Love that. Alrighty, throwing that in the car and uh, I'll get back to digging. Alright, in front of another old abandoned house here. Working along the walkway and not too far off I get a dime signal of about six inches. And sure enough, there she blows. Not silver, but happy to have a dime. Alright, a uh, bit overcast, not rainy. Not too cool, not too windy. Overall, the perfect day for a park rat to be out doing what park rats do. All right, I'm going to keep swinging my thing. I'll see you at the next hole. Okay, Detector Rats. I was just up at that house right there, searching around. Got a lot of pennies. That was pretty cool. Cut back across the field, got part of like a window screen frame. <clears throat> Came down toward this abandoned building. And uh, I got a faint signal. It da, 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 dime, da, silver, junk. So I turned my sensitivity way up and was able to zero in here. And it said I had like a quarter dime penny, quarter dime penny, you know, eight inches, eight and a half inches, nine inches. And I went for it, and I'm glad I did. I got down there and had to take out a couple extra scoops, but I see it right there when it flipped out. This, uh, this could actually be where Fido got laid to rest. As this looks a lot to me like a, an old timey dog tag. Let me brush this off and um, I'll get back to you in just a second. Alright, here we go. Got it all cleaned up. Look at this. 
Looks like uh, 3059. Um, vaccinated against rabies with Moford vaccine. And then on the other side here, uh, says harp. Looks like it might have said sharp, but I can't get that corner clean. Um, sharp and dome, Philadelphia, PA, 1941. Score! That is the way a park rat likes it. All right, got to go for them deep faint signals every chance you get. I'm throwing this one in a special pocket. I'll see you at the next hole. Okay, we got another gooder, not five feet away. Another nice deep signal. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ponds. That was a cold cream. May still be. But uh, definitely an old timey jar. Good and deep down there about seven inches. Oh yeah, I'm a happy rat, man. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to keep going. It's raining. And yet somehow, I don't care. All right. I'm going to get on with this hunt. I'll catch you at the next good hole. Okay, detector rats. We had a good score right here. Was jumping in the 50s. And I'm like, all right, I'm going for it. It's real rocky. In this section, from like that building down to this building is real rocky. And I'm thinking there used to be like a driveway here or something, a gravel driveway. And uh, you know, that went a past, it could have been a gravel road. Who knows, either way, lots of gravel in here. And I get this signal, I'm like, all right, it's looking like a penny, looking like a dime, I'm gonna go for it. And I pull this sucker out and I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Oh my goodness, look at that. This is part of a toy airplane. Absolutely astounding. Super beautiful. I am going to detect the hell out of this surrounding area and see if I can find more pieces of it. But that beauty right there is, is an absolute treasure. There's got to be a top half to it somewhere. This is the, the bottom part of the airplane. So I imagine somewhere out there is top half and tail section. Let's see if we can find it. All right, it's a good day. Hey, that may have been my one hole. <laughs> no, every hole's been good to me so far. All right, I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Well, I'm still out here looking for pieces of that airplane, but I got another good signal. It's no airplane. Ah, what I got going here was down there, ringing up like a dime. Pulled up this. It almost looks like little wheel images at the bottom and then the big thing. This might be part of like a a toy. I know it's part of a toy, but it may be part of like a toy tractor or steam engine, something like that. But uh, it's pretty cool. I'm happy to have it. Let me stick that in the pouch and uh, keep swinging out here and seeing what I can find. All right, I'll catch you at the next great hole. Hey everybody, we're out here in front of this old place. And uh, I just got a signal, I thought, oh, it might be a penny or something, but it uh, looks like just a weird chunk of metal. And then Joe came up to me, he's like, hey, take the brush to this thing. Check this beauty out. Look at that, look at that. I think it's some type of religious pendant, that's all we can think. But there's no writing on it. None at all. Um, I can try and look at that little box above its head with my loop and see what that says. And there's absolutely nothing on the back. So we're thinking this is a religious token. Let me look at that top section. Yeah, there's nothing at all written in there. There are no numbers, no letters, no nothing. But uh, this is a beautiful piece right here. So that's the mission. Come on, detector rats. Anybody recognizes this, knows what it is, Put it in the comments down below. We gotta know. All right, I'm gonna get on with the hunt. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, detector rats, I need your help again. This is becoming a trend. Check this thing out. This is something else that Joe pulled. And at first I would have thought, oh, I've never actually seen one live, but maybe it's part of a parasol slide. But when you look at it and you see the notches, there's a lack of uniformity up here at the top. And I got no idea what this is. So again, if anybody's got a clue, put it in the comments. All right? You know somebody who's got a clue, tell them to watch the video. If you know anybody that has a remote chance of identifying this piece or the last one, send them to this video, please. That is gorgeous, though. Awesome. Good job, Joe. 
Excellent. All right. Wayne's out there hoping he'll find something good soon. And uh, let's get back with the hunt. Close to this tree line. Easy identification here. It's a dime. Yeah. All right. All right. My coin count's going to be good today. All right. Let me keep hunting. I'm going to do that little area there. At first, I thought it might be a pet cemetery or something. But when I walked by it earlier, you can see painting along the slats in the front. So I'm thinking it was some like little family garden or something, but uh, I'm going to get in there and see what I can find. Okay, up by this abandoned house. Had a signal down here. Wasn't looking too much at anything. It was like a 42. And I thought, okay, let me go for it. Got to be a key or something. And as I flipped around, it popped out. Check that out. I do believe that's a token. Fairly modern. It says a uh, discovery zone. No cash value. Sweet. Love having that. First token of this trip. Let's stick that in the bag and clean it up and enjoy it later. All right, on we go. All right, park rat update. Still moving forward, heading toward that building there. Had a signal down here, and I'll tell you what. That was up up under that route big time but I finally worked it out check out this beauty look at that thing some type of plug for something I may never know what but man I'm happy to have that that's pretty cool big heavy gotta be brass super all right on I go hunting away like a park rat should Okay, Detector Rats, I'm going to need your help again. Got a signal down there, said it was a dime. Of course, it wasn't. I pulled this. Look at that. That is just the oddest little piece. Looks like a, it had a hole in each end, so it's screwed to something. But then it's got this big slit opening in it, like something was strapped through it or to it. Uh, I'm guessing some type of fastening piece is what this is. But uh, if any of you recognize it from anything, let me know. And again, if you think you have a friend who might recognize it, have them watch the video. And I'd really like to identify this. It's beautiful though. I'm sticking it in the bag. On we go. They can say a place is all hunted out. <laughs> they can say that all they want. But as long as you're coming out to a site, and still finding beautiful square nails like this one there's always good stuff to be found and that's got like no head this may be a horseshoe nail for all I know anybody got a clue on that comment down in the comments all right I'll see you at the next hole well now I got no idea how old it is down here I was getting kind of an iffy nickel signal and I pulled out this kind of a decorative embellishment to something don't know but uh going in the bag that's a beauty all right good history all over the place around here and that's the nice thing about history you know even if you're only talking back to like the the 70s or 80s there's history there there's things that just don't exist anymore there's things you can find that you can't get anywhere else unless you pull them out of the ground and that's really cool. So I'm enjoying all the history around this place. I'm going to head out there toward the old horse arena and uh, see what I can find out there. Wish me luck. I'm heading to a nearby lake. And I'm out in the middle of this old arena that's uh, on the property. Got a signal down there. said pull tab, but super deep. So I went for it. Look at this oddity. Could this be part of a horseshoe nail or something? It's something from equestrian life, I'm sure. Nothing else in the hole. Happy to have it. Great little mystery. If you all recognize this, let me know down in the comments. On with the hunt. Okay, Detectorettes. There's a little lake down there. I'm going to go detect around that because... You know, no matter what year it was, 
that would be a great place to swim and fish. So I'm going to check it out. This whole area is beautiful. And uh, look at the size of this. I mean, this was a monster tree. This place has definitely got some age on it without uh, too much of this deeper stuff being touched. Let me get down there and see what I can find. All right, Detectorettes. I've made it to the little lake. Definitely a cool place. This whole area is different because, you know, it's like an abandoned little community. But uh, the lake is beautiful. This little area, when I came down the hill there, I saw everything and I saw where I am now. And I thought, that looks odd. And there's like three benches out here in a semi-circle. Or semi-circle, depending on where you're from. And um, they all face into this. So it's like, uh, I don't know what went on out here. Don't look like anybody was ever strapped to it. Let's hope not. But uh, yeah, this is the area I'm going to hunt in for a little bit. Then I'll probably go to the clearing on the other side over there. All right. Wish me luck. Doing it detector rat style. Alrighty, detector rats. I got nothing over on that other side except a little spooked out. But I figured that might actually be a place that they did baptisms and stuff. So that makes it a little less spooky. But nonetheless, came over to this side. Got a couple bottle caps. I got a nice signal down there, said it was a dime. When I flipped the plug and started searching. I got something, I don't know what it is. But I can see some shiny edge there. Let's uh, take a look here and see what we've come up with. It's, uh, it's shiny, that's for sure. I don't know if it's jewelry or whatnot, but uh, it sure is a hefty piece. Let me uh, get my hand digger out, see if I can't chunk some of that down. And open this up a little bit. Yeah, yeah right. let me uh, let me keep working on this. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, that piece is hinged. I just don't know yet. All right, let me get a two hands on it, and I'll be right with you. Belt buckle was over there, just down here close to the water. Boom, 1993 quarter. Awesome stuff. There's got to be older stuff around, but I'm not complaining. I'm happy with the stuff I'm getting. Let's keep swinging. Whew, I'm running out of breath. No doubt about it, detector rats. The password is overload. Look at the size of that monster. Compared to the size of my foot. Whew. I'm glad it wasn't any deeper than it was. It's a hefty hunk of something. Gotta love it. There's no way I'm carting that back out of these woods. But I'll put it off to the side where it won't get buried again. Okay, detector rats. It's time for another end of the day round up here. Let me show you the good stuff we got. Alright. Here's Joe's stuff over here now. He got some really interesting things here. This is one we're waiting for an ID on. Like we say, it could be part of a parasol slide. We don't know. He got this really cool bell. And uh, that's about as good as we can get it cleaned up. There's some type of writing on the inside, but we cannot make it out. And it's got that uh, all around that edge there. So I just cannot... Cannot determine what it says, but it's beautiful. He got that religious medallion. Uh, we're assuming that's what it is. Again, if you recognize these things, let us know. Got a 30-06 shell case there. He ended up uh, with a Sacagawea dollar. Quarter, nickel, few dimes, and some pennies. I think he ended up with a dollar sixty-four. That's a 1955 D. This one here, if I can 
zoom in on it. Beautiful, beautiful find right there. So I think that's the only uh, wheat penny for the day. Wayne got some really cool finds too. Found a part of a toy cap gun there. Found a few pieces of it, part of a buckle. Uh, not sure what that was, but it uh, rang up good. Got a, either a salt or pepper shaker lid. That was decent. Too many holes. This. Too many, too big holes to be pepper. This right here we think might have been a poker chip. You know, the, the fellas in the army would hammer out the bullets and use them to play cards. I have no clue what this is. Fairly modern thing right there. Might have been to a little pen light or something. You get a couple of shotgun head stamps. A little bit of change there. Uh, nothing special. Got that little trinkety uh, worry stone or whatever it is there. Friends forever. You know, you like rub on it or something when you're you're upset. Uh, you got a little bit of clad. The only silver of the day. Let me see. Get this focus again. Wayne found him a 1948 S. And he was like, I think I hit it with my shovel. And I'm looking at it going, um, how many times? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, things pretty well beat up. But, hey, it's silver. And we're happy to have it in uh, the mix for the day. These are my finds. I got a, a toy airplane. <laughs> Never found the rest of it. Still has some of the little wheels on it. It was a Boeing 747. And I haven't seen any other writing on it anywhere. Got this little plug thing, which is actually hollow through, so... I don't know what would have been on the top of that. This we determined was part of a door lock. So this would have been on the door, on the wall, and then a bar would have slid through to lock things in. That Pond's cold cream jar lid. A fairly modern buckle there. This uh, dog vaccination tag. Uh, number looks like... 20502 or 30502 and this is from 1941 I'm really happy to have that I'm assuming that would say sharp and dome uh, because of how that's off centered there but uh, that came out pretty nice a little window piece part of a toy there uh, some other decorative metal I got one token from Discovery Zone which is like some kids kind of indoor playground Chuck E. Cheese style thing just like yesterday, I ended up with a dollar four in clad. Can't complain about that at all. No wheats, no silvers, but uh, no problem. I had a great day. I got a few good square nails. And got this odd thing that I found in the uh, equestrian arena. So, I don't know if this is some kind of fancy styled shoe nail or maybe it's part of an old chastity belt uh, anyway if you know what that happens to be let me know but that's our roundup for today we'll be back at it again tomorrow uh, hitting it hard probably a little later in the day because it's going to be cold in the morning and uh, nobody needs to get out in that if we don't have to so hope you enjoyed the video please uh like share and subscribe and uh comment down below if you know what any of those items are I'll see you in tomorrow's video. God bless. Remember, you're only one hole away from a really good day.